Funky Fresh Nation, have you ever tried Jollof rice? If you haven't, it's one of the most flavorful rices ever. And it's good as a bitch. And what I've learned is if you're from Nigeria, Ghana, or Senegal, everyone believes they have the best Jollof. And I'm here for it. So please like, follow, and subscribe for more recipes like this. So what I've learned so far is most jollof recipes a lot of most african recipes is going to have ginger and garlic in it take a spoon to peel your ginger that's going to allow you to get most of the skin and not as much actual ginger so i'm gonna get me a handful of garlic cloves i'm gonna take half of a red onion i'm gonna dice it up i'm gonna get ready for my chicken broth now get you a medium to large skillet get some cleaned Chicken thighs, I got bone-in chicken thighs. I'm going to add my ginger, garlic, and red onion. I'm going to put a little turmeric in there. I'm going to put some sweet curry or any type of curry, whatever you like. And I eyeballed this. I got some hot water, add some hot water, and I got my chicken stock, caldo de pollo. That's the only way to get it. Of course, a lot of African recipes used for thyme. I'm going to go with thyme. I just literally used uh, my ancestors' uh, measuring techniques because I'm not sure how much I put in there. Next up, I'm making my tomato stew and i got me some red peppers some tomatoes onions i don't have scotch bonnets like the traditional recipe i use habaneros instead got some banana peppers some stuff in my garden i'm gonna add some chicken stock to a blender i'm gonna blend this up well okay so i'm gonna get my olive oil and now this technique is interesting because a lot of times people take the chicken and they just fry it what I did is I'm just using the chicken to get a little bit more of the chicken fat and the chicken juices into the bottom of my stew. Now, you can't add just chicken to your rice later. I actually didn't because I damn near ate most of the chicken before the rice was done, but that's a different story. Okay, got my red onions. I'm going to kind of saute those up with those chicken fats and chicken juices. I'm going to add a little bit more turmeric, a little bit more curry powder. And uh, like I said, this recipe is more, um, I found this on YouTube and I just kind of used a bunch of different recipes as smoked paprika. And I'm sure there's going to be some Africans in the comments like, smoked paprika, that's not part of my recipe. But that's the beauty of cooking. You just kind of do what you want to do. Okay, I'm going to add some cayenne pepper because I like my, I like a little spice. I like, the, I like my nose to be dripping a little bit, you know? In my recipes, okay? Um, add some little cumin to it. And I uh, got some tomato paste. So, you know what's similar is this This recipe is very similar to uh, my Puerto Rican rice recipe. If you've uh, seen the previous video, it's very similar recipes. And I respect the ethnicity's you know, attention to detail. So, I got my, my blended tomato stew. I'm going to mix that up with my uh, tomato paste and uh, sautéed onions. And I'm going to blend it up nice and well. Okay, I use a regular spoon. I was tripping right there. I was supposed to use a wood spoon or something. Got a little hot, hotness on my hand. I'm pretty sure I burnt myself on this part. I think I was crying, but it's all good. Now I'm going to add me a little sea salt, crack some sea salt in there. That's what I love about cooking. You could, At this part of most recipes is when you add a little bit more. Okay, I felt like I needed more ginger. I, I needed more chicken bouillon flavor. So I kind of went through and I tasted it all and... And that's how you cook from the soul. You just kind of cook, add, taste, subtract, whatever. Add a little bit more turmeric. I felt I needed more turmeric. I added bay leaves because what don't bay leaves go good in? Everything that you, every time you make rice, like literally make bay leaves, add bay leaves to it. That's just a little quick hack. I'm going to take my um, rice. I'm going to saute it up. I got my chicken stock finished. I'm going to drain that, add some of the chicken stock to the pot, cover it, bring it to a boil. As you can see, I took some of that chicken that air fried it, and it was just some good-ass chicken. You can make wraps, all type of stuff with that. Or you can add it to your rice. A little bit more water, added some aluminum foil, cooked it for 25 minutes, and look at that, y'all. Look at that fluffy jollof rice, flavorful, spicy. That was my first time making it, and this is my review of it. <laughs> it's a different taste to it, but it's like, I don't know, like, I mean, a good different taste, but it tastes more too tomatoey. Not too tomatoey, but you can tell that it's good to taste. And that's it, y'all. We made it. Listen, all my African Funky Fresh Nation members, tell me if I did this right. Let me know in the comments. Thank you. See you next time.